Good morning. It is still us. We are still with you because to now I like and we're still bringing you your weekend on a weekday. It's Friday, my favorite day of the week, which I think flies by way too fast, but that's fine. At least it comes in this hour at 554 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, Y54 underscore channel on the gram. Hashtag Sandra Friday, Mine Toval. And of course, the DJ giving us. I don't know if it's good vibes or problematic good vibes. I don't know. But what I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, don't see a ribu, but die. But die. Hey, Mr. Good Vibes, please introduce yourself once again to the people. Uh, R-A-J-O-Z is my name. Raj is mm -hmm. the DJ. Pala Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok. Uh, what do you mean? Mdundo. Uh, Mdundo and Mixcloud. Mm -hmm. uh, don't know if I'm going to say, but Raj is the DJ. Tanipata. Who are you? <laughs> the one with the head, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the caricature. Yeah, that one, that one. Three sana sides, bending his side more. I don't know what the problem. Hey, but the conversation na sound weird. Raj is the DJ. Unacheza wapi? Because last week I told you I forgot. Nika uki enda class alafu unasahau date ama unasahau kuandika. Kidogo ni meshina ni kisahau kwa uliza. Unacheza wapi? Weekend, you inclusive of DJ Max. Leo, Friday. Kata's live with DJ Max at Samaki Samaki Lovington. Mm-hmm. Then Kesho, what wrong with Vika? We coming through Pale V Sport Nightlife. With V Tena, V Sport. Yeah, V Sport Nightlife. Pale Vika with DJ Delma and DJ Siga alongside Busy Monye. Uh huh. Yeah. So come through what wrong with Vika? Juja, Vika Rodiani. Share with Vika Pale V Sport. So come through. Will definitely be a vibe. Some fun fact about Rajiv, the DJ. Ukienda tu mali yuko, there's no space to breathe. I don't know what he does to people. They've come. Sijui wana kudanga. Madi mani ba eh. But an act very cool. Like, ata hai ja ja. Hashtag social Friday. Meanwhile, we have a very, very beautiful guest. And yeah, let's get to know who she is and what she does. Ten, 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 ten. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Welcome on the show. Please do tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Clara Ruiz, mm -hmm. or Clara Ruiz in English accent, and I'm a dance content creator from Spain, living mm -hmm. in Kenya. Can I show them the, the, the thing, yeah. you guys, in <laughs> case you missed it? On Goja, Ikona said, Gani. It's over here. It's so pretty. Can I get this in my size? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Okay. So What's even in Andozake, by the way. <laughs> yes, Clara. How do I say it in, in, in the accent that it's supposed to be said in? Clara. Clara. Yeah. Ruiz. Ru Ruiz. Not even yeah, Ru Ruiz. Yeah, you did it well. Let me tell you where I'm from. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because we had that small conversation talking about where we're from. So she's from Spain. I'm Kenyan, yes. And then we have several tribes. Now, I'm fortunate, or fortunate for, for me, where I'm from is... Eh, Nanikiskiam Narude story by the way to catch feelings come at that but for the sake of being honest with Clara, let me I'll just explain. I'm from a place called Nyeri. <sighs> but all the females from Nyeri are known to be violent. But that's not the problem. The problem is our R's and L's. Mm. <laughs> so instead of saying Clara yeah. on a regular day, I would probably say Clara or something really weird. Yes. That actually helps for the Spanish, because that's how we say it in Spanish. Yeah, I I've been in the wrong country this whole time. Okay. So, cl again? Clara. Clara. Yeah. Do we? I yeah. didn't know that. It's going to join your Z. Well, it's going to join as you continue. <laughs> okay, you said you are a dance content creator. Tell me about that. Sure. So, I um, started my dance journey when I came to Kenya, pretty much. Uh, when I was little, it was like my frustrated passion. And oh. yeah, I, I did like some ballet or some Spanish flamenco Whoa. dancing, some modern dancing, but maybe up until I was 10. And then as an adult, I never had any dancing other than in clubs and the normal thing. Mm -hmm. I've always been very dancey. Mm -hmm. And when I came to Kenya uh, for work, I said, okay, I really want to learn how to dance to Afrobeats. And literally, I arrived at 7.30 a.m. on a Saturday, and at 11.30, I was at my first dance class. Wow. And from there, I was just so in love with it, and I started dancing more and more, being really consistent, um, up until now that I feel like I've grown a lot, um, both as a dancer and as a content creator, because throughout my journey, I started sharing it on social media, and. Uh, it was a really nice experience. I started creating more and more content 
and that's what got me here. Wasn't yeah. it hard balancing your actual work and, and content creation? Not really. Uh, it's something that uh, I was looking forward to for a long time. I had been just working like full time um, for some years after university. And I was like, okay, something is missing in my life. I, I want to have a big hobby or side hustle that, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> that uh, is also a passion of mine. Because my work is also my passion. I work in social impact. Um, but this is something that it's part of like my therapy, my way of growing. And uh, it's really just like, okay, I work. Then after my eight hours or after whatever, I finished my key goals for the day, I close the laptop and I go dance. I get it. When yeah. I come here and then Raji's or DJ Max do the thing, for like five minutes, I forget I woke up at five. Yeah. That oh morning. <laughs> I forget. I understand. I, I, way I really get it. You showed us your whole journey. You, you weren't afraid of, of, you know, showing you putting your right foot where it's supposed to be your left. You weren't embarrassed with the bloopers or anything? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, I... I think I'm really self-aware and I just try to laugh when things don't go the way they're supposed to go and I grow and so that's why it's part of the journey. I am not planning or aiming to be like a perfect and the best professional dancer. It's more about the journey and you know there's bad days that you look like <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, but that day is also helping you, okay, why am I feeling like this? Why is this making me feel like that? So um, you use those times to also grow as a person. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and like social media, really, um, it's all about having fun. Like you're going to mess up all the time. So you might as well just have fun. Yeah, Don't be dying for pressure <laughs> for no reason. We're all here trying. Meanwhile, TikTok in particular is a very, very big platform for artists. So they, they have a song, they release it, and then they call like an influencer. Have you ever done that or do you plan on doing it? Yeah, for sure. I, I've actually danced to so many dance challenges and uh, I haven't worked with artists specifically yet. Um, like an artist coming up to me and saying, oh, let's do this challenge together but uh, I've danced to so many and it's honestly like so much fun. Like I love that about TikTok that someone uh, releases something and then everyone is just interacting with it, bringing their own stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome for also musicians and dancers to like show their art. It's great. Would you be on a music video? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, was, I was on a music video. What music video? <laughs> uh, it's a KK Manabad artist. Allah! Master yeah. Masa Kwana from Kamaiza, Pama Nijifunze Kunyamaza. I watch on Jifunze Kunyamaza. Meanwhile, over here, it's a very nice profile picture. Thank we you. have her Instagram page. And yeah, okay, so here is her bio. <coughs> As I've been told, Nikrara. <laughs> <laughs> Canada Louis, and then sharing my dance journey and inspiring people to uh, act out of love. And I see a lot of the things. Ah, I'm really glad to my because there's one particular. Okay, this is the one I saw was on TikTok, but the yeah. I, I saw you giving us a literal tutorial with even the dance steps on the screen. Yeah, and that's so helpful. Thank you for <laughs> people like me. Yeah, I started doing those, and mm -hmm. I I was trying to test if that was valuable to people, and actually they're getting really like good views and people interacting with it and I, I when I see them from other people I'm like thank you I really needed that <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel the exact same way yeah all right so you are dancing with a couple of very very big names in the industry tell me how it's been working with them sure mm -hmm. um okay so I would say the first artists that I started but they're like my mentors are Chiluba Chiluba the one mm -hmm. who is like my sensei he's the one that has taught me uh, pretty much everything I know, uh, I've been going to his classes really consistently. Mm -hmm. And also Ayomar, mm -hmm. um, it, she has a beautiful... Shout out to Ayomar! Yes! Mm -hmm. She has a beautiful concept of, uh, you know, you go to her dance classes and it's not just dancing. Uh, you, it's like all women or girls go and we sit down, we talk about how we feel, um, then we dance together and it's normally something like very sensual, sexy, you're looking at yourself in the mirror and it's about loving yourself and seeing your 
yourself and um, after we dance, we sit down again and we talk and we cry or we laugh and it's, it's so beautiful. So I really am so inspired by her and, and her work. Um, and then I've also danced with um, Tile, with um, Carlos Obura, um, with Candy. Um, there's, there's, there's so several. many. I feel like because <laughs> uh -huh. I've been dancing in the dance classes and coming up, mm -hmm. um, I get introduced to more and more dancers. Mm -hmm. And then we do collabs together. Um, and it's like, yeah, they introduce me to another dancer and another dancer. And that's kind of how I've been do you meeting a lot of people. Do you have like a community yeah. that you guys hang out? Let's say TikTok dancers, let's go yeah. climb a tree or, or go on a hike or something. <laughs> do you guys do that? Uh, no, we don't climb trees. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh -huh. No, but yeah, definitely. I think, uh, yeah, we do hang out and we do a lot of, uh, okay, let's go Sunday and let's shoot content and we like go have lunch, da da da, things like that. Uh, with Voda as well. Um, hey, Voda, and I, kill him to a job, Voda. Everybody, everybody. And that, yes, I've been meaning to ask about that because I saw you with gloves also on your TikTok page. <gasps> Tell me about that. Yeah, uh -huh. that's my other passion. Uh -huh. um, so I do Muay Thai, wow. which is, uh, it's like boxing, but it also involves kicking, knees, and elbows. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love it so much. I want to <laughs> use veggies as a prop. <laughs> Just like him a little bit. Can we use you as a prop, Rajiz? I'm out of me. I want to be boy. You box? You box? You, you want to try it? Spar a little? No? Okay. Daddy <laughs> Boas, Yeah. Shout out to my coach, uh, Kenboy Amon. Where she, do you get time to do all these? Sorry, you shout out? Uh -huh. I think I'm, I'm, I'm very hyperactive, probably. Like, I just love doing things. And yeah, you'll never find me just on my couch. Just like. What? You don't I mean, have lazy days, like once you just wake up, you don't want to do anything today. Okay, last weekend, actually, it was a very lazy weekend, but I have to plan for them. I have wow. to say, okay, like, I'm saying no to every plan, and I'm purposely yes, staying at home because I need the break. Mm -hmm. But, no, like, my default is I'm always you just doing wanna. stuff. Yeah. I hope it rubs off. I really do. Sometimes... <coughs> <coughs> Masai will say, Kikuja was to boy city. Hashtag is social for writing. Okay, so we usually have a game section right after we've gotten to know a guest. So Masai is our game master, and I want to invite him over. However, before we do go, what would you like to tell the Kenyans out there who want to dance and are afraid to? Because sometimes it looks really hard, and it looks like you have to have been born with it or something. Yeah, that's dance. Yeah. I'm not a dancer, but Rajiv gives me vibes. And yeah, you have I, I, I hear what is me. I listen to me to him. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't have a specific message to people. I don't think that I am in a position either. It's also my dance journey, and I'm growing. Well, you've grown, but you don't see that you've grown enough to be sensei to someone. Exactly, exactly. But you are. You are. You <laughs> could be sensei to someone. I mean, what I would just say is... Um, like try your best and like be really true to yourself so if you really want something um like follow your passion and be super consistent because there's that side of it i feel like on my in my experience um sure i might have i don't know like dancing is in my body that's something that i really love it's my passion but at the same time i've put on so much work um to grow, for example, on TikTok from like zero, because I, I started in December to 54,000 wow. uh, followers. This is this, this 2021. Yeah, sorry? December, this last December. Yeah. He yeah. just done what yes. he then now in August, 54,000. Yes, so I think around May, Whoa. when I had around 5,000 followers, is when I said, okay, I've seen some growth. I think that people can, uh, you know, find value in my content. So. Let me actually try and be consistent, like m be professional the same way I do in my work to put in the work here, put in the okay, hours, yo. test, mm -hmm. iterate, try stuff. And, and then that's how, you know, some things end up going viral and you grow. And TikTok is amazing for that because you can have exponential growth. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So I would say stay consistent, like follow your passion and, and be very consistent and disciplined. Mm, apple, what discipline? Aha, 